Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a story time, kind of like a story time. I'm not really sure what to call this video yet, but it's going to be on my jaw deformity I have. But everybody keeps asking me questions. Why don't you smile in your videos? Why can't we see your teeth? All this other stuff. So I'm going to tell you why you can't see my teeth and why I don't smile as much. So this is probably a video that I really didn't want to make because it's honestly something that bothers me a lot. And I get questions about it, so I'm just going to put it out there. And if you have any negative comments, they won't be accepted and I will delete them because this is something that I've struggled with my whole life. And there's no need for it and I'm not going to fix the problem I have because number one, it's really expensive. Number two, it's a long recovery process that I don't need to fix unless I have medical issues with it, which I don't. So I'm just going to get started and telling you what it is. So obviously I don't know everything off the top of my head. And yeah, so I'm just going to get started. I'll read to you what I have written down. So I'm, I have, what I have is an underbite. So usually people have overbites, which their top teeth go over their bottom. But in my case, my jaw goes like over my top teeth a little bit. So this is, I'll show you my teeth. This is going to be so weird because yeah, it's just weird. But yes, I have teeth. See, I have all my teeth. I do have all my teeth. See that? See how my jaw goes up and my thing goes out? My bottom goes out. Yeah, I have all my teeth. I obviously, if I didn't have teeth, I wouldn't be able to eat or even really talk. So, now you know I have teeth and yeah. So, I'm just going to get started with reading what this is. So, an underbite is also referred to as a malic collusion is a dental condition where the lower jaw protrudes up and outward abnormally partially overlapping with the upper teeth. To get a better idea as to what an underbite is, I stand in front of a mirror and stick out your chin so your bottom teeth are positioned in front of your upper teeth. Unlike an overbite, which is extremely common, underbites only affect 5-10% to of world's population. Now, that's not very much and it really sucks when you do have it because it's really hard to treat and if you treat it when you're like eight when you're like younger then you then it it's pretty easy to treat then but if you're an adult like me then you actually have to have jaw surgery and that's like really serious and yeah so what you all have been waiting for what causes an underbite underbites can be caused by a few different things including hereditary so if somebody in your family has it, then you could have it. Poor chewing habits. Abnormities in the jawbone. Okay. So I just lost my place. Some sucking disadvantages of an underbite. Unlike most forms of overbites, underbites can usually not go untreated. There is too much of a risk for developing serious jaw problems and conditions for one to ignore the underbite. TMJ disorder is a very popular condition that is underbite will lead to. TMJ can also lead to other problems within the month, within the mouth, not month, such as with the teeth and inner cheeks. Other disadvantages of having an underbite include, can lead to jaw pain. I do have jaw pain once in a while, but it's not bad. Increased changes of wear and tear on enamel. Increased chance of tooth decay, increased chance of developing gum disease, interfere with one's speech, can change the structure and appearance of one's face, mouth, and smile, which is what I have. So mine affects my smile, my mouth, and my face structure. So as you can tell, when I'm making a straight face, you can tell that this part of my jaw goes out more. And it's just like you can kind of tell if you look really closely that I have something wrong with my mouth. But anyway, so yeah, I do have that. It says it can cause low self-esteem, correcting an underbite can take a long period of time, abnormal alignment of teeth. So yeah. So now on to correcting an underbite. Correcting an underbite depends on different things, such as your age, severity of the malocclusion, 
If you are a parent who has a child that has an underbite, he or she may be fitted with a chin cap to control the growth process of the jaw and lower chin. Another device that may work on a child is an expander. I had braces and an expander. Let me tell you that I almost got this surgery to get this done. I had braces for like three years. And at the very end, when they were getting close to doing my surgery, I backed out because I was so scared. And a couple months ago, I decided to go with it again, and then I backed out again, and now I'm definitely not doing it. Now, this expander I want to talk to you about is pretty painful. What it is, it's it's an expander. It's utensils, utensil dentist use that comes with a turnkey and is worn for a few hours each day for several months. It's meant to expand the lower jaw and improve the bite. So what this is, is something that... Um, goes on the top of your mouth and it's like a piece of equipment that attaches to your braces and you have a turnkey, you turn it every few days and what it does is it makes like your mouth feel really tight like it really really hurts and it really hurt, it was really uncomfortable, it was hard to eat for a while and I got used to it eventually but it was so painful and yeah so that is not something you want to have, it really hurts. If anybody that has braces has that you guys know what it's like and it fucking sucks so bad anyway another way to correct an underbite on a child is to use a reverse pull face mask it looks just like a catcher's mask and only has to be worn for a few hours each day generally dentists use reverse pull face mask when the expander treatment is not effective also the mask can be worn in conjunction with the chin cap orthodontic braces can also help which is what i had Regardless of your age, however, you may have fully recovered from previous treatments before braces are worn. Now this is, the next part is what I have a problem with. Unfortunately for adults, it says if there is an underbite, it is already skeletal and surgery will be required to fix the alignment of your jaw. Braces are usually applied to adults for one to three years before jaw surgery takes place. During the surgery, the surgeon will push the lower jaw back and pull the upper jaw forward, or both depending on the severity of the condition. So think about that. If they're pulling your jaw backwards and then pulling the front one forward, that is a lot, a lot of surgery. And they said I could have been out for at least 10 hours. That is a long time to be under gas um, anesthesia, and they were going to put my mouth back together both bolts and screws and I just didn't like that you know there was a lot of complications and I just was too scared and a lot of people I guess have this done but I just don't I'm just not brave enough to do it so yeah now on to the next thing the cost of correcting an underbite there are several factors that determine a patient's actual cost to correct an underbite factors such as how bad the condition is how experienced your dentist is the type of treatment needed the duration of treatment and dental insurance coverage. Thankfully, mine was gonna cover the whole thing. Thankfully, many dental plans cover most or most of the costs of this type of treatment. Draw surgery is much more expensive than orthodontic braces. Braces can range from price to three thousand to six thousand. So that alone, three thousand dollars to six thousand dollars for braces alone, and then you have to have the surgery. And it says jaw surgery can range from $20,000 to $30,000. Think about that. So you add all that up, braces and the jaw surgery, that is a lot of money, but thank God my insurance was going to pay for it. But I'm just saying, if you don't have that, then you're fucked. Because <laughs> not many people can um, pay for that out of pocket. When should you correct an underbite? Earlier is better in this situation. Underbite treatment can be cost effective and affordable if treatment is sought when the patient is under the age of 13. So yeah, that's everything that I'm going to talk about today with this um, This isn't something I like to talk about. I'm actually pretty self-conscious about this. And if you have anything mean to say, please keep the comments to yourself because I don't really want to hear it. But yeah, so that's why you guys don't see my teeth when I talk, really. Or you don't see me smile because I don't like the way I smile. My smile is pretty, 
pretty bad. I'll show you right now one time. See? As you can see the space between my teeth. See? Um, yeah. Yeah. That is why I do not smile in my pictures or or on camera. But there's nothing wrong with that. I'm still me. I'm still going to do videos. I don't really care what anybody has to say. You can take your opinions and shove it up your ass if you don't like you don't like my face. I really don't care, but anyway. So that was everything. I hope I answered you guys' question. I don't want to get too much into this because I don't like talking about it. And it makes me not feel so good. So if you guys have any more questions, just look up online underbite and all this stuff will come up. Underbite surgery. You can even watch videos on it. So yeah. Anyway, so that's everything for this video. I'll see you in my next video.